Hey guys, this is the AC Service Tech Channel, and today what we're going over is hard start capacitors. All right, so uh, if you get to the job site and the compressor keeps popping the breaker, uh, then it may be a situation where you might need a hard start capacitor. So we get to the job, um, the compressor uh, pops the breaker. If it pops it immediately, you might want to take a look at the compressor, make sure it's not grounded, um, and that's what's popping the breaker. But if it's after maybe about a second or so, or two seconds, then, then you want to start uh, looking at the capacitor first, and then after that, maybe looking at putting a start capacitor on. So what you do, first things first, you're going to check to make sure that the voltage is correct going to the compressor. All right, so you do that. After that, you shut the power off to the outdoor unit. Then you disconnect the wires to your run capacitor. This is a run capacitor. This particular one is a dual capacitor. That's 35 plus 5 UF. All right, uh, at 370 VAC. So you have a C terminal, you have a common terminal, and you have a HERM terminal. So from C to the HERM, you should have 35 MFV roughly within 5%, and from C to fan on this one, you'll have uh, 5 MFD. All right, so once you um, disconnect this, you pull it out, you're going to short from common to Herm, and you're going to test it for microfarads. Hold your probes on there for a good 15, 20 seconds, and make sure that you have the proper reading, and it's within 5% of 35, in this case. All right, you're going to have all kinds of capacitors. This is a run capacitor, and they could be 50 plus 5 MFD. They could be, you know, 60 plus 7.5, whatever it may be, 25 plus 5. All right, um, while you're there, you might as well check from C to the fan, make sure that has the correct microfarad reading. If this does have the correct microfarad reading, then you might want to start thinking about adding a hard start capacitor. Um, this one right here is the SPP5. It's the smaller um, hard start cap. And what you do is you just <clears throat> keep the wires connected to the, you know, reconnect the capacitor with the power off, and you're just going to actually add this. Uh, hard start capacitor right here, all right, to the Herm and to the C. It doesn't matter if this wire is on here and that wire is on there or if that wire is on here and this wire is on there. It doesn't matter, all right? As long as one is on the Herm and one is on the C, it's fine. And then you can mount this inside of your unit with either a screw or here's a clip right here, all right? Uh, I usually just cable tie these two together, all right? And then there's usually a metal bracket that holds uh, this capacitor right here to the shroud in the inside. All right, so uh, say the SPP5 does not work, then you need to move on to the SPP6. This is the SPP6. This is a pretty beat up one, as you see. So I decided I was going to pull the cap off and show you what's inside. But anyway, um, so if this one does not work, you take this off and you replace it with a SPP6. And if that doesn't work, I mean, I've seen people double up on hard start capacitors and put them on here. I guess that worst case scenario, but usually if this doesn't work, I'm basically telling the homeowner that the compressor is, is dumb. Um, <clears throat> uh, but whatever you need to do to get them up and running, you know, like I said, I have seen people put two, um, two hard start capacitors actually on here um, to get it running. So, um, but even if I do put these on and it's working, I still let the homeowner know. I, I let them know just to kind of educate them and, and uh, to let them know that potentially that compressor could quit on them. And I don't want it to be a surprise to them. That's all. All right. Um, so. And uh, these right here, I, I do not recommend putting these in in replacement of an OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturer Hard Start Kit. I, I recommend you get the correct Hard Start Kit. All right. For that. Um, just so you know, this inside is just a regular start capacitor. Just like this looks right here, this looks the same. And then you have a um, <clears throat> PTCR uh, right there. It's a positive temperature coefficient uh, resistor. All right. And what happens is this start capacitor is taken out of the electrical circuit after that first half a second. So this actually helps give the compressor, the refrigerant compressor, another 300 to 500 uh, percent torque. Uh, it actually gives it an inrush of uh, current voltage, and then it takes itself out of play. Otherwise, the compressor would actually burn itself up just due to high amperage. Um, 
So uh, how this works is you have the voltage comes into here as this heats up with the voltage and, and going through um, and the amperage going through. It actually heats up this, I think, I believe it's a ceramic semiconductor inside of these um, positive temperature coefficient resistors. Um, there's no moving parts, so it's just it heats up and it opens the electrical circuit. All right. I believe Thermodisc has something that works um, that has that that provides something like this as well. Um, there's a couple companies out there that provide uh, these, but you can actually get these on Subco's website. You can actually get the replacement ones of these, um, or you can actually get the whole setup of the SPP6. Uh, but that's how it works. All right. So this start capacitor is only in uh, for the first half a second, and then it's taken out, and then you just have your run capacitor. Uh, that is needed for the compressor to continue to run and this stays stays in and I uh, hope you enjoy yourself. I'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel